Well, good morning, Sagittarius, and welcome to the daily message. I hope this day finds you well. And in the daily message, we look at a bunch of things. These are things that you need to know today, that Spirit wants you to know today, that your environment could be telling you. Yes, yeah, Sagittarius. So, my name is Heidi. This is Saged Muse. If you're looking for personal readings, you can find that in the description box. But, yeah, this is where we look at all the things. And I'm so glad you're here. I hope you stay till the end. Yes, yes. Please like and subscribe. All the things. So, Sagittarius, let's get right into it. Okay. So, you know, underneath it all, Sag, you are really thinking about your future. Yep. The Three of Wands and the Hermit. Really thinking about the future. Uh, you could also be, you know, doing soul searching, looking for, you could be looking into things. And I feel like this is happening because you are trying to make decisions. And I don't feel like it's easy because there is, all, there's really, you have a lot of obligation. So the decisions you make especially in terms of your money and career, can be really important, you know, and, and, and we all know that, but, you know, because obligation is here, right? And with strength, strength, six of swords, ace of pentacles, I don't know that there is an opportunity coming per se, but it feels like you trying to make the decision whether to stick with something or whether to move towards new opportunities. You know, because it, it does feel like, and you will definitely be making this decision this month. You know, um, with the Six of Swords, usually we're in a transitionary period, right? And... I just feel like you are trying to make a decision on whether to move on from something or not. And I I don't... It could be that the door is open to you, but I don't know, Saj. Because, you know, the Ace of Pentacles... Let's see, though. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Um... Hmm, interesting. With temperance and the king of pentacles reversed, it really just kind of feels like... Yeah. This is something, probably something you've stuck with for a while. Whatever this is for you. And, and like, it hasn't shown up in... You may have been losing... In other words, it could be something that's losing money or you're losing your your loyalty to it. Um, you know, because temperance reversed is an imbalance. I just, I feel like you're trying to decide because the money isn't there like it was. I, I do feel like it, and that may have something to do with... How much you are still loyal to it. Yeah. Uh, and, and I feel like Spirit is saying, Saj, please don't make a decision yet. Like, just don't. Because, you know, there is... This is something that you have actually <clears throat> really valued. Right? And with the High Priestess... It's like, you've stuck with it this long for a reason. And maybe you don't really grasp the reason. I don't know. But the High Priestess says that there's information that you don't have. And that it might be necessary for you to just wait a little bit longer. You know, it's like hang in there a little bit longer. Because you're really being called... For patience and to recognize some things going on, right? And the patience part of things is that there is, you know, this pause maybe in terms of 
you know, maybe you're into something and it's not making money like it used to. You know, and you feel like you're losing money and maybe you're being just a little too um, stubborn about this working out and not looking towards new things. But there's something that's about to change. The death card is here, which is really about transformation, which we've kind of been in this reset energy with Pluto. So, you know, something comes to an end, so something can begin. Right. And the, the thing is, and the reason why you're being called to patience is because you don't want all the work that you put in to be wasted. Right. Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe you just need to change things a little differently or you need a side hustle or whatever it is. Like, you know, maybe you need to just add another way to make money here. And not just give up on this idea completely. And the signs really are interesting. Because <laughs> the Five of Swords is here with the sun and the star. It feels like there's something, you know, with the, with the Five of Swords, we are, like, determined to win. You know, even when the odds are against us, even when, you know, other people are against us. And that may be what's happening. Like, you may be just overly influenced by the environment, like, what's happening. And it's about to change. Like, if you just decide that no matter what, this is going to succeed and not let that, like, get to you. Because, you know, Sagittarius kind of rules the pivot. Like, when we feel like something isn't working, our, our go-to is, well, I'll just stop doing that and go to something else. But what ends up happening is we're constantly starting. And, you know, they're saying to you that sometime, because there's a lot of Leo energy here, maybe you're just being called to remember the passion that you had. You know, the passion that you had for it can actually change things up instead of seeing things from the point of I'm losing money or I'm losing stuff or it's not happening. Um, go back to the passion, you know, go back to the positivity that you felt the dream that you had for it. And, you know, honestly, look at this queen of pentacles on the bottom, the five of wands, the Six of Wands. The Ten of Swords. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. The Knight of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. Like, it could just be that, like, um, like, first off, you know what's good for you. It, you know what would work. You may be being overly influenced by other people. You know, whether it's, you know, people who are doing better or whatever it is, you know, they may really be affecting how you feel about success and how you feel about the success of, of this. And it, I think it's really a matter of just talking to the right people, maybe even working with other people. You know, maybe if you talk to people who are more about ideas, you know, and how, like, they're asking you to stop talking to people who tell you it's never going to work and start talking to people who have ideas on how it can work. You know, it's very interesting. Very interesting, Sagittarius. Yeah, let's get on to more things. Because this felt specifically about jobs, dreams, that kind of thing. We don't talk to naysayers, Sag. They have nothing to offer. <laughs> you know, they really they really don't. And, and I feel like this may really have something to do with it. Because underneath the deck is healing, professional assistance, and protection. It's like telling you that... 
stop don't listen to what other people are telling you they may be trying to give you advice they feel is is good solid professional and advice but you're actually being called to protect yourself from that how how often does that happen because i just kind of feel like you know that something good is going to happen if you like sit in your high priestess energy you know that Right? And I feel like what they're saying to you just pisses you off. Because these are people that don't believe in miracles. That don't believe in what they can't see. They only believe in, in what they see. So, yeah. So, the people affecting you. Is, look at this, Sag. Like, the people affecting you are the people around you. Are... Are you know they could be part of your team, could be people you work with, it could be people in your community that you're surrounded with, right? And it's like they're questioning you and what you're doing, or whether you actually know what you're doing. And it 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 affects your discipline. So even if you're doing something or you're pursuing something that you really want. You know, you you kind of have to eliminate all the noise. And that's what it feels like. It just feels like noise. I don't know why they just don't mind their own business. Like, because they think that what you're doing is too much of a risk. And that you should just stay with what's safe. Right? Just stay with what's safe. But that isn't who you are, Saj. Who you are is... The challenger, a person of courage with, with a, with a goal, with a dream. And it's like, you know, this could be like, it could be family that's influencing this actually, you know, and that's because maybe, you know, that's about what we learn, you know, and sometimes, especially if we're doing something different. Um, but not everyone's willing to unlearn is basically what, what it means, you know? So we're going to see the other things, Sagittarius, for instance, let's see what spirit wants you to focus on today. <clears throat> and then we'll get to the daily energies. Because that feels like an overall energy of a situation that may be coming up for you, Sagittarius. We don't do naysayers. We don't do conformity. You know. That's why we've built this here community, Sag. So what does Sagittarius need to focus on? What does Sag, what energy should Sag embrace? What's the focus? Oh, Pisces. Like the dreams, the impossible dream, Sag. You know, you embody the essence of empathy and infection, of affection, I think they meant. But just as you extend your compassion to others, remember to be compassionate to yourself. So you may. I feel like you may have to be understanding, but Pisces is also about dreams. Yeah, look at this. Jupiter, the seeker, the sage, the embodiment of limitless growth. Through your journey, you inspire others to reach for the stars within them. You know, wow. Wow. I feel like they're telling you not to give up on your dreams, Sag. That Jupiter is going to be here to support your dreams. Yeah, look at this. Because you're headed towards a destiny. Right? That's your North Node. You're headed towards a destiny. You know where it is you're supposed to go. <coughs> and I feel like Spirit is telling you... <coughs> I mean, not fight with people, even though you you might be getting mad at what they're saying. 
Not to fight with them. Be understanding to how they feel. But don't give up on what you're doing. And I do really feel like this is about reaction too. I feel like they're telling you not to react. Quite honestly. So let's see what kind of day it's going to be. Just focus on you knew where you were going. You were following your North Star. Your true North, Sag. And you know, not everyone has to understand that. So what kind of day is it going to be for Sagittarius? What kind of day? What kind of day? Oh, the King of Cups is on the bottom. Seems like a lot of feelings today. Mm. So what kind of day is it going to be for Sagittarius? What kind of day? Five of Pentacles. You might be worried about money. What kind of day for Sagittarius? Four of Cups. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you are, and I feel like this is why it's affecting you so much, is because of money, right? Or the lack of money. Um, and, and feeling, really feeling kind of low about that. Right, and that may be why this is affecting you so strongly. It might start out that you go to other people and it just kind of fuels you towards what you are doing, you know? Like expecting support and then other people just telling you to give up. Well, no. <laughs> Tell me more about this. Five of Cups, jeez. Okay, so there's going to be, um, you may be reevaluating your plans. So there could be something changing in, um, you're really needing patience because I feel like you may be kind of lost in this feeling that things just aren't working out. But there is there is going to be some information coming to you in a month's time. What is this information? Tell me. Okay. Oh, Knight of Cups. All right. What is this information? Things are going to get much better in a month, Saj. In a month. So I really feel like you're being called, even though things don't seem so great, even though, you know, maybe you're feeling a little broke or what have you, um, and thinking about giving up, things are going to change in a really positive way within three to four weeks. You know, you might make a, a few changes, right? But look at this, Sagittarius. Don't give up. Ten of Cups on the bottom. With the Page of Wands. Eight of Cups is interesting. It feels like you're not going to, like... Within a month, you're not going to have to do this by yourself anymore. It feels as if someone who really understands what it is you're trying to do is going to want to do it with you and going to want to help you. And we have seen partnership coming through quite a bit. Quite a bit. You know, if this is love for you, which this whole thing could be about relationships, who knows, but... If that's what it is, then there is a big change coming. Could be another offer, especially at a time when you're feeling alone. Okay. So what's supporting Sag? The lovers. 
Your relationships are supporting you. Your decisions are supporting you. You know, taking the time to think of things from all, all sides. Don't be rash. Yeah, look at this. Page of Pentacles. I really feel like they're telling you. Maybe you need to be open to working together with other people. You know, maybe that's the answer and that is the answer to growth here. But I feel as if there is an opportunity coming in. Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers. King of Swords. Yeah, there's some information. There's something you don't know. So definitely don't make any decisions based on emotion. And what you don't know is that you're going to be winning here. Like all the work that you put in is going to work out for you. Wow, it's, it's like this is all talking about this, whatever this is for you, to be real honest. So how is this all happening? Six of Wands, because you, you catch someone's attention. How is this all happening? It's like you're being vulnerable. You're expressing your... Yeah, look at this. You're getting recognized for what you've been doing. For the work you've been doing, you're getting attention. So you want to be really careful about being overly emotional. And I'm telling you what, there is something coming in with someone who wants to work with you or be with you, either one. They've recently walked away from something. Hmm. I really think this is about your purpose, though. And it's like they have some kind of knowledge that you don't have because they're the king of swords. Interesting. Very interesting, Sagittarius. So what is unexpected? What is Sagittarius not expecting? What is Sagittarius not expecting? The chariot, things improving. What is Sagittarius not expecting? <coughs> There's a change in your money. It's like... You're afraid that something is not working, that you're not going to be successful, that it's not going to move forward. And maybe you start to <coughs> really get lost in that feeling. And then the universe brings something in for you. They definitely are bringing you information, especially with the King and Queen of Swords, you know, and this is information you can trust because, you know, there are no lies there. And the King of Pentacles is someone <coughs> who would help. Yeah, this is moving you forward. Wow. That, you know, you're going to have to be like, um, it's like if someone is bringing you news. It could even be a new idea like we were seeing last night. 
And you are going to have to be flexible about it. But it's kind of like getting what you want, what you really waited for, what you've persevered through for, and moving you forward. And I do feel like there is this real need to remember the passion you've had for this thing. So interesting. I feel like this is talking to me too. <laughs> I, I really do, Sag. I really do. So let's see what's in the mystery. What will the mystery cards tell us today? What will be the mystery today? The mystery. What's the mystery today? Yeah, you're getting attention and recognition. What's the mystery? Look. And, you know, an offer that brings peace because things are starting to pay off. Wow. So I feel like a lot of this energy, Sag, is telling you to hang in there. Look, sudden abundance is here, too. Yeah, so we will look at that. We do and extend it for every, every daily reading so let's let's finish this off with what's going on in your relationships today your dealings with people people romance this could be any of your relationships honestly keep that in mind because if you're not looking for romance this could be about your friendships your your family your your co-workers so what's going on in relationships today for Sagittarius? What's going on? Oh, divine timing is at play. What's it time for? What's it time for? Oh. Someone who has been distant. Oh, you're finding out something. There's a secret unfolding. Mm, something mm. and that may be the reason that they have been distant if someone had suddenly pulled back from you um they could be apologizing for that but you're finding a secret out it could be because they didn't want to tell you okay well that gives us something to look at too don't it a little bit of spice to the day let's see that What's the mantra today? Sorry, y'all. I got to eat breakfast. That's my belly. <laughs> What's the mantra today for Sagittarius? I honor my self-worth by asking for what I want. Yes, yes. We want to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius. Toodles. Toodles.